Hello everyone, my name is Toy Burton and I am the founder and executive director of the Roxbury Unity Parade. Today is the Roxbury Unity Parade. It happens every July on the third Sunday. We are here gathering at Madison Park on Plaza 7. Right now is the block party. And then at 12, we will have the opening ceremony. And then we go from Malcolm X Boulevard to Malcolm X Park. Today is about celebrating Black Boston, the Roxbury community, and elevating the neighborhood that usually gets forgotten. <laughs> My name is James Hills, James Jimmy Hills. I'm the host of Java with Jimmy. I'm here today as the digital director of Dee Dee's Cry, which is a partner organization with Toy Burton and with Roxbury Unity's Parade. I'm here to support the Roxbury Unity Parade. This event is important to celebrate within our community because of the fact that there's so much heritage, so much history in Roxbury and so many good folks that come from Roxbury that we just have to celebrate Roxbury. Toy's vision is to bring together the families from all over Boston that may not be familiar with everything good that goes on in Roxbury. There's a lot of negative media about certain parts of our city and Roxbury happens to be one of those areas. However, we're celebrating the arts, the joy, yes, the resilience and everything that comes with being Roxbury born and bred. It keeps me going because I grew up in Roxbury. I'm a Roxbury native. Um, when I saw that other neighborhoods had parades for their neighborhoods, I was like, what about my neighborhood? What about Roxbury? Like, we are a proud people and we should also be celebrated. The love from the community is awesome. As you can see, everybody's out. Even though we're celebrating Black Boston, Roxbury is very diverse. So we have a diverse crowd that comes out and I love it and I appreciate the community. My name is Dr. Brandy Brooks. I'm the Director of Operations for the Roxbury Unity Parade. We are in our fourth year, if you can believe it. And this parade is so important to me because it celebrates a community I live in. And it celebrates the heart of Boston. It really truly is the heart of Boston. We're here to uplift, to magnify, to support, to exalt. Roxbury's history, Roxbury's culture, and the community of Roxbury. And so it's so important for me to be involved, and it's so important to have the community involved. Because if we don't get involved and celebrate our community, who will? The Roxbury Unity Parade is not just about us walking the streets of Roxbury. We do several things as a component of the parade. We have our block party, as you can hear the music behind me. Uh, that goes for a couple of hours. Then we have our opening ceremony. At that ceremony, we not only thank those in attendance, but we give back. We want to make sure that we give awards to those deserving of them, our pillars of the community, our upcoming leaders, and our sponsors, because without them, we would have no parade. And so once we step off, that's not the end either. We go to Malcolm X Park, and then once at Malcolm X Park, we have an empowerment fair where we have different organizations from the community providing resources, providing support. And as you're getting your cotton candy or your popcorn, you can listen to live music, Boston-based artists, rapping, singing, spoken word. So it is a full day of activities, a full day of service, and again, a full day of just celebrating a community that we all love so dearly. So what I want the children of Roxbury from this neighborhood, I want them to have a sense of pride from where they come from. We come from strong roots. A lot of great people came from Roxbury. We have Sarah Ann Shaw, we have Elma Lewis, we have Mel King. And this is a neighborhood, like the media usually don't show Roxbury in a good light, but we have a lot of good that is happening here.
but no one brought it to fruition. And so I want us to acknowledge that this visionary woman, uh, Toy, thank you for laboring in love. She would not take no for an answer. She knew that Rock Spring was worthy of celebration and recognition. And she's so humble. She doesn't like a picture. But Toy, uh, we thank you for being the visionary woman that you are. We thank you for laboring in love. And I also want to, because she's wearing another button there, and I see the flag for Didi's Cry, I want to acknowledge the work that she's done in the space of mental health. Roxbury love going. I'm so proud to have been part of this from day one with the very, very first parade all the way through. We've been here in almost 100 degree heat, in rain, in cars during the pandemic, and today is just such a joyful celebration with the entire community out and about. Badly needed healing after this pandemic. I'm here also to celebrate Toy and all the community leaders and folks who have paved the way. Um, as a mom with kids in the schools, I live in a multi-generational home, I ride the tea every day. Policies matter, it's urgent, it is this moment that we have to rise up to meet and the community here reminds us every day of just what the stakes are and how many willing, amazing hands have been doing the work for such a long time that we just need to bring everyone together and, and march together in the same direction. There's no way to separate who we are as policymakers or citizens or voters compared to who we are as people, moms and dads and grandmas and family members. And so making the space for us to reflect on our history together, but just be in community is a really important part of how we move forward. 
especially after we've faced so much isolation and trauma during the pandemic, this is a way to keep our eyes on the future, but also just take stock of being with each other. Come together, heal, and celebrate our community. Toy, you are amazing. I've seen you in huge crowds when there are 20 cameras here. I've seen you in spaces where there are just a few families grieving who have lived through the impacts of mental illness or experiencing loss. And you are one and the same. You're always there just radiating your love and energy and passion for the community. I am so in awe of everything that you do and just count me as someone who will always be there wherever you need. Call on me. Uh, we, we're following you into, into the fire, into the, the uh, joy, into the, the sense of what we could be together in the future. And so I, I have so, so much love. Thank you so, so much for all you do for our community. It is going great. I am on cloud nine right now. I'm so excited, so humbled, so overwhelmed, filled with so much joy. Another year down. Time to stop planning the next one. <laughs> Boxbury is a place to be proud of. We have a strong history an awesome culture and we want to keep this going for them. We're just laying down the foundation so we can keep going. My name is Juanita Sheffield. I am the daughter of Tenoy Burton who put this parade together and I'm here today to first and foremost support my mother and of course to show love uh, in the community and to just show that there is love in the communi community and when we come together amazing things could happen. I love you, Mom. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, everybody. It is Brandy Brooks, Director of Operations. We are on Dale Street for the Roxbury Unity Parade. You see us right behind us? When I say Roxbury, you say Pride. Roxbury. Yes. We're about to go into Malcolm X Park, where we have Empowerment Fair and Hood Fest and other activities for the community. So if you're not here already, too bad. You're going to miss a good time. Come on, Roxbury. Roxbury, you say unity. Roxbury. Unity. Roxbury. Unity. When I say Roxbury, you say culture. Roxbury. Culture. Roxbury. Culture. Roxbury. Culture. Roxbury. Culture. Roxbury. Culture. Rock with me. When I say Roxbury, you say unity. Roxbury. Unity. Cindy, how are you? Hi, how are you? Why is being here important to me is because I've been a Roxbury resident my whole life. I say my whole life. Growing up in a five generation home, I've been a person who's a leader in Boston's hip hop community, in the peace movement in Boston, and now at Mass General Hospital. Love you, Roxbury. I'm just going around and say hi to everybody. So, tell people about Whittier Street. Okay, we're well, Whittier Street Health Center. We offer a lot of services. We have a food pantry. We have our mobile youth health unit that just came out, and we do IDSP, which is infectious disease and um, special population. We do testing, HIV testing. STI testings, we have a lot of services at Whittier Street. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Would you like to move on? Okay, so here we have Boston Casa. Hi, how are you? I, I'm good, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Our pleasure. No, thank you for having us. We absolutely appreciate it. We're an organization that trains community volunteers to serve as best interest guardians ad litem for children and youth involved with the juvenile justice system, juvenile court system, sorry. So we do kind of soup to nuts. Um, we work really closely with the family and it's a one-to-one -one relationship. So we're able to do lots of educational advocacy, you know, um, advocate for mental health supports, um, you know, other types of assistance that the family needs. So we try to be a permanent presence uh, in the child's life while they're going through a really, really challenging time. Thank <laughs> you.